Hello students, welcome to Shore of Source classes. Today we are going to do some introductory part of Rolle's Mean Value Theorem, Taylor's and Maclaurin's Theorem. At first, let us start with the Rolle's Mean Value Theorem. Now let me tell you what do we mean by Rolle's Mean Value Theorem. This theorem states that if fx is defined in a closed interval, this is defined in the closed interval of including a and b and the following conditions are satisfied which will be that fx is, is a continuous function in a and b we have a first condition as that is fx will be continuous in the range of a and b then f dash x that is fx should be differentiable, differentiable in the open con interval of a and b and if a must be equal to f b then this theorem states that if all these three conditions are satisfied then there will be a point named as c such that c will lie between a and b for which f dash c will be equal to 0. Now let us have an example. Let us consider the function fx equal to sine squared x where x lies in the closed interval of 0 and pi. We are seeing that fx must be continuous in 0 and pi interval, the closed interval. Also, we are going to have f dash x as 2 sin x cos x which is also differentiable in the open interval of 0 to pi. Now let us put sin square 0 equal to sin square pi. We will get both the values equal to 0. Hence let me go up. All these three conditions are fulfilled. Hence there will be an element C such that There will be an element C such that f dash C equal to 0 and our task will be to find this value of C. Here we are going to have 2 sin C cos C equal to 0 or we can write sin 2 C equal to 0. From this value we are going to find C equal to Hence, this is our answer. Thus, this is what Rolle's theorem is. Next, we are going to do Lagrange's mean value theorem. For this, previously we had three conditions to fulfill. Here, we are going to have two conditions to fulfill. The initial condition, uh, given condition should be the same that is fx will be a function defined in the closed interval of a and b. A first condition to satisfy is that fx should be single valued and continuous in a and b and f dash x is continuous in the open interval of a and b that is fx should be differentiable, uh, differentiable in the interval a and b for all values of x. Therefore, if these two conditions are satisfied, then we are going to have a, an element or rather a value c which will lie between a and b such that f dash c will be equal to f b minus f a by a b. This is what our Lagrange's mean value theorem is. Now we are going to show you with an illustration. Let us con consider the function fx equal to x plus 1 by x which lies in the closed interval 1 and 3. Let me just simplify this equation into this. Uh, this is a rational function 
therefore it is very clear that this is continuous in this closed interval also we are going to find f dash x as x square minus 1 by x square which is also continuous in the open interval of 1 and 3 as it satisfies both the conditions of Lagrange's mean theorem therefore for some value of c which belongs to the open interval of 1 and 3 we are going to have f dash c equal to f3 minus f1 3 minus 1 which will give us by putting the values 2 by 3 therefore as f dash c equal to 2 by 3 we are going to have c square minus 1 divided by c square equal to 2 by 3 solving which we are going to find the value of c as root 3 and we already know that root 3 belongs in the open interval of 1 and 3. Thus this was a Lagrange's mean the value theorem. Next we are going to do Cauchy mean value theorem. Let me write it. Cauchy's mean value theorem. Here also, here previously we have dealt with a single function fx. Here we are going to deal with two functions fx and gx. The first condition to be satisfied should be that fx and gx must be continuous in the closed interval of a and b. The second condition is that f dash x and g dash x must exist in the open interval of a and b and the third one is that g dash x must not be equal to 0 for x belonging in the open interval of a and b. If these three conditions are fulfilled or rather satisfied we are going to get a value c where c will belong to the open value of a and b such that f of b by f of minus f of a by g of b minus g of a we are going to get that as f dash c by g dash c. This is Cauchy's mean value theorem. For doing sums we just have to find which one is the function fx and gx then we are going to see if those two functions are continuous in the closed interval and their, differenti their differentiated values are continuous in the open interval of a and b and whether g dash x is not equal to 0. After that we can simply apply this theorem in our sums. Next we are going to deal with Taylor's theorem. which is also known as which we have to do with Lagrange's form of remainder. Here as usual the function fx should be defined in the interval a plus a plus h. Mind that this should be a closed interval such that our first condition should be if and differentiated to the order n minus 1 to the power x is continuous in the interval where x lies between a and a plus h the closed interval and that if and differentiated to the order n of x exists in the interval that is is continuous in the open interval a plus e plus h then then there exists at least one theta value we are here considering the value theta which would lie between 0 and 1 that is such that we are going to have function of a plus h will be function of a plus h into function of a 
This is quite a huge expression and you have to remember this so on. Thus this is our Taylor's theorem. Moving on, we are going to do Maclaurin's theorem. This particular theorem we are going to have a function fx which is defined in the closed interval 0x such that the condition is as follows. If differentiated to the order if n minus 1 x should be continuous in the interval 0 and 3. And the second condition is that if differentiated to the order n must exist in the open interval of 0 and x. Then there exists at least one value theta which would lie, this is similar to Maclaurin's theorem, such that fx will be f0 plus x into f dash 0 plus x squared by 2 factorial f double does 0 and so on. This is also a huge expression which you have to remember. Writing as follows. This will give us our Maclaurin's theorem. Moving on. Moving on, we are going to have some expansion of functions in series. That is, expansion of functions Here we, have, we are going to deal with two types of series expansion. Number one will be Taylor series. It states that if fx possesses continuous derivatives of every order in the interval, open interval x and x plus h, that is, if x this is continuous and, the, and with all derivatives present in the open interval x and x plus h. Then the series expansion will be f x plus h equal to f x plus h into f dash x plus h square 2 factorial f double dash x and so on. This is going to be a long series. And next, we are going to deal with the Maclaurin series. This states that if fx possess continuous derivatives of every order in the interval, rather open interval of 0 and x, then the series expansion will be as follows. Please note it down what I am writing. 
because this is also going to be a huge series. Or rather we are seeing that this is an infinite series just like the Taylor series. With this, we come to an end of this introduction.